Here's some pseudocode for sorting an array into ascending order using an insertion sort. It assumes we're using a zero-based array, which is typical of most programming languages. There's a variable called pointer, which is used to scan the array from left to right. There's another variable called current, which will store a copy of the array item given by the value of the pointer. And there's a variable called position. Position is given the value of pointer at the start of the outer loop. Let's see it in action. The value of pointer is initialized to 1 by the outer loop. The pointer separates the sorted section of the list on the left from the unsorted section on the right. The pointer points to the first item in the unsorted section. The item in the array given by the value of pointer is copied to the variable current. The value of the variable pointer is copied into the variable position. A test is made to see if position is bigger than zero. If so, there are still some items in the sorted section that need to be compared with the current item. The same test also asks if the item given by position minus 1 is bigger than the current item. In this case, if 7 is bigger than 8. 7 is not bigger than 8, so the inner loop exits immediately. The value of the variable current is copied to the element of the array given by the variable position. In effect, the value 8 has not moved. The value of pointer is incremented to 2. Now it's pointing to the third item in the array. The value of current is changed according to the value of pointer. In this case, current now contains 5. And the value of position is changed to match that of pointer. The value of position is tested again. It's bigger than 0. The value in the array, given by position minus 1, namely the number 8, is bigger than the current value 5, so control can flow into the loop. The value in the array, given by position minus 1, that is the number 8, is copied one place to the right in the array, as given by the value of position. 8 overwrites 5 in the array. 1 is subtracted from position, so position is now pointing to the second element of the array. The inner loop has executed once. So a test is made to see if it should continue. The value of position is still bigger than 0, and the value in the array given by position minus 1, namely the value 7, is bigger than current. So the loop can execute again. The value at position minus 1 in the array is copied to position. The 7 overwrites the 8. 1 is subtracted from position. A test is made to see if the inner loop should run again, but this time the value of position has fallen to 0. So the inner loop comes to an end. The value of current is copied into the array according to the value of position. And the value of pointer is incremented. The outer loop can continue running because the value of pointer hasn't yet reached the length of the array minus 1. The value of current is overwritten by a new value from the array as given by the value of pointer. The value of position is changed to match that of the pointer. Position is again bigger than 0 and the value in the array given by position minus 1, namely 8, is indeed bigger than the current value too so the inner loop begins again. The value 8 is copied one place to the right. Position is decremented by 1. The inner loop can run again. Position is bigger than 0, and 7 at position minus 1 is bigger than 2. 7 is copied one place to the right, overwriting the superfluous 8. Position is decremented, and because position is still bigger than 0 and 5 is bigger than 2, the inner loop runs again. 5 is copied one place to the right. Position becomes 0 this time, so the inner loop is not allowed to continue. The current value is copied into its new position in the sorted section of the array, and pointer is incremented. The outer loop begins again. 
This is the last time the outer loop will run because the value of pointer is the same as the length of the array minus one. The last unsorted item of the array is assigned to current. The value of pointer is assigned to position and the inner loop begins executing once again. Eight is copied one place to the right. Position is decremented. The inner loop can run again. Seven is copied one place to the right. Position is decremented. Position is still bigger than zero and five is bigger than four. So five is copied one place to the right. Position is decremented. And the value of position is checked again. Position is bigger than zero, but the value in the array given by position minus one, namely the two, is not bigger than the current value. So the inner loop must exit. For the final time, the value of current is copied into the array according to the value of position. The value of pointer is incremented, but its value now exceeds the dimensions of the array. So the insertion sort is complete. To summarize, the insertion sort can be compared to sorting a hand of cards. It's particularly good for lists that are almost fully sorted already, or when you just want to insert a single item into a list that's already in order. For example, the high scoreboard of a game would be a good candidate for an insertion sort. A pointer variable separates the sorted section of the list on the left from the unsorted section on the right. The pointer advances from left to right as the sort progresses. One after another, each item in the unsorted section is made current. The current item is compared with each item in the sorted section, and sorted items are copied to a new position if necessary. Eventually, the correct position for the current item is found. A defining characteristic of the insertion sort is that the sorted section of the list is scanned from right to left. You can therefore recognize the code for an insertion sort because you'll see a variable being decremented within a nested loop. The insertion sort is arguably a little harder to understand than a bubble sort, but it is slightly more efficient and therefore a little faster. With the bubble sort, pairs of data items are repeatedly compared and swapped. There's a lot less unnecessary movement of data with an insertion sort.